Okay, hi, I'm Brandon Laverne, and I'm going to teach you how to add sound to your Macromedia Flash. Alright, now just go and open up your Macromedia Flash. I'm going to let you know now, I'm not sure if this is exact, because I don't really use Macromedia Flash anymore, I'm more into Lunar Magic now. So, yeah, I'm just letting you know. Oh, and be sure to check out my, my first Flash, I put it on YouTube. And Newgrounds um, should be there soon, or you know, whatever. It's nice to talk to people every once in a while. You know, you get lonely. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah, just waiting for this to load. Okay, we're here. All right, now um, I'm gonna open up a new file. Um, all right new flash document okay here we are again alright now first things first if you're going to want to add background music um, it depends on what you want to do because I'm going to show you two things today I'm going to show you how to add sound for either your background music or if you're going to do like voices or something alright so <clears throat> To do voices or sound, first of all, you need a microphone. So that's something I'm not really going to do much for you. Alright, so I'm going to do lip movement first. Alright, so draw like... You need a... First of all, you need a couple of movie clips to make lip movement. I'm not a good drawer. I'm just going to do this real quick for you guys. Okay, save that as a, oh wait, convert to symbol, um, usually instead of sprite movies, people use like a bunch of body parts for symbols, for like character movement, that kind of stuff, um, just name this one head, I, I'm not into that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm into sprites, sprite movies. They're the most simplest. Alright, so let's draw a mouth. Alright. Convert to symbol. Name it mouth uh, slash still. Okay. And you're going to t go to your library. See these two here. Copy mouth still duplicate and name the symbol mouth moving moving okay mouth moving all right now you're going to want to edit that go to um cl double click it in the library and you're going to you know open up this whole sprite editing animation thing um so basically i'm i'm not, I'm not going to do it great for you it's just going to go up to frame 5, insert frame, insert keyframe, and let's make it look, he's talking, I don't, I don't know, I'm not making it very good, oh yeah, if you want to play the timeline, just press enter, it's a lot easier than having to go through it like this, alright, I was going to fix that up a bit. I hate drawing my own stuff. So I use sprites because I suck at drawing. Alright. If you got your basic animation, press enter to check. Got it good. Alright. Now you're going to want to take the mouth. Cut that because we don't know which one that is. Alright. And you're going to go to hmm, your timeline. And you're going to want to go let's say up to 20 or so insert frame right click insert frame um go to 15 insert keyframe all right we have nothing here yet so you know what i'm gonna i, I didn't really make a, a recording 
for an example for voices, so I'm gonna just gonna pause this and get recording. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> it's not really much of a alright, so if you're going to insert your recording, you're going if you're going to do custom voices yourself, you're gonna wanna have a microphone. But we're not going to aim for that. So we're just going to I got I got my custom thing, so if you wanna put it in, just go to file import import to library click that and look for that mp uh, that mp3 file of that recording you just made I'm gonna look for that okay there we go example you got that sound file there you can see as a speaker if you double click it you get the sound options so it's a sound okay now you're going to hmm you're going to put the mouth oh you're going to hmm nah anyways you're going to put the mouth still you're going to drag it and put it onto the guy's mouth in frame one and when you go you're going to drag it back to the keyframe in frame 15 and told you to put it you know what I'm going to want to add some more I'm just going to go to frame 40, insert, go to frame 45 and insert frame, sorry, just need a little more time, and go back to frame 15, and let's put mouth moving on here, alright, hmm, whatever, make sure it looks exactly the same, <laughs> who's really gonna care anyways, okay, and you're going to put, you're going to add another layer, layer two. Put it um, at the bottom. It's going to, you just drag it, so it's like in the order of one, two. If you want, you could go to, to make it easier, right click it, go to properties, and name it, you know, so it could be easy, like sound. So you could tell that's the layer for the sound. I'll be making a tutorial for layers maybe a little later, because that's really important layers and sprites and stuff. Alright, so you got your sound thing, so you're going to drag this, the example, from the stage, drag it onto it, so see, now sound has that, has that voice, oh, but wait, um, you're going to need it to be, hmm, this is supposed to be moved over, alright, so then I, in any case, you're going to want to insert little more keyframes in case, because no, this is an example here of what might happen to you. It might not fit in the exact spot you want to start. Like, I'm going to put it right there in frame 15, and I'm going to clear everything else behind it. <sighs> okay. This is what a flash animator has to deal with. This is the crap. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, just make it start right there. I, I, I'm not. I, I don't even know how to. Uh, I, I don't even use Flash in a while. So, oh, and if it ends too early, like see, it's ending at frame fifty-six. Just insert the frame, and make it stay there. All right. And if you're working with this tutorial, like I am, we had the same problem. Just um highlight it from the spot you don't want it go over here I think yeah go over here you see where it says um, sound example effect none um, when it says sync repeat put it on stop and don't don't edit anything else just put it on stop so you know the spot the um, sound won't start until it reaches this keyframe and it goes on to looping animation alright so we're just gonna go look at it control test movie I hear it. Uh, you guys want to hear it. Well, that's basically... Uh, somewhat. Sound tutorial. Uh, that's basically it. Alright, uh... It's Brendan Laverne. Staff Master 123. 
signing off.